Hey guys, it's Erica from Mommy Mix, and um, it's hard to believe, but we are entering the fourth week of our stay-at-home um, order here in New Jersey, and it's been a rough week overall, seeing what's going on in New York and New Jersey, um, and all over the world, obviously. It's, it's devastating and scary, and... We've had, you know, obviously, you know, we have a lot of health issues and stuff in our house. So we've been cautious, obviously, um, but it's, it's just, it's getting to, you know, a scary point, but we're trying to stay positive for the kids. And obviously, you know, this is a mom blog and mommies know, you know, the kids can pick up on our anxiety. So we're trying as hard as we can to do fun things, which is why I wanted to do our post this week, fun things that you can do with kids at home. So I picked six cool things. Usually I do three because it's easy, but I have six and I just wanted to share them with you. We've actually had a couple of fun things this week that we've done. The first thing we did was we celebrated our 10th anniversary, my husband and I, and we did something really cool. The kids forever have always been saying, mom, we want to go to a wedding. We want to go to a wedding. So this week we cooked a nice meal and we had the kids plan a wedding vow renewal ceremony for us. I put on my dress, which was crazy. We surprised my husband. He didn't know what was happening. So we had him put on a suit. We made a cake um, and we had like a whole afternoon of wedding and fun. And I got to tell you, it was awesome. It took our mind off everything. So that's my first fun thing to do at home. Pick something fun to do with the kids, like something imaginary and awesome, like a tea party, you know, where you can dress up or like a wedding or a, you know, a special birthday party and everybody gets dressed up and y'all do something together and make a meal together and you can plan it, make a menu. Um, something like that is really, really fun. Also, anything um, that has to do with baking and cooking, a simple recipe that you guys can all do as a group, that's great. And, you know, my seven-year-old now is starting to really take initiative in the kitchen, and I just let him go because, you know what, at this point, you want to make some brownies? Go for it. Make some brownies. Um, a scavenger hunt is really fun. You can do this inside or outside. This blog post is more toward inside things, so... Um, hiding Easter eggs. That's something we did and it's so much fun and that takes up a lot of time. You can hide them and then find them and then the kids can hide them and you can find them. So that's something that we've done that's been pretty cool. Um, obviously games and puzzles. We've ordered a lot of puzzles, floor puzzles um, my kids like to do. So that's kind of fun and we do that and games. And we also play a game at the dinner table called What Am I? Which is kind of fun. It's kind of like I Spy, but you basically guess the person thinks of something that they are and then they describe it and you guess what it is and it's that's a fun fun game and the kids love that and it's easy even my two-year-old she'll say oh when i go outside i'm a fox so she doesn't know how to play it but she wants to play it and she gets involved and it's so cute um and then imaginary play putting on a show it's so much fun doing dance choreography um you know, having the kids do a show or a puppet show, or we also did like supermarket. So we, you know, set up a grocery store and then my daughter got to go shopping and one of the boys was a cashier, one was helping her find stuff. So that was pretty cool too. And then my last idea, we've been having a lot of fun doing coloring pages, like different coloring pages. Crayola has some free pages, which is really, really cool. So we'll all color the same page and then will like compare pictures and hang them up and they have a cute one with easter eggs um they have some free disney coloring pages so definitely check out crayola and get some stuff so i hope everybody's doing okay and you know my thoughts are with everybody and and their families and it just i just want to just take the time to say that and just please stay safe and stay calm and stay positive, okay? Good luck, guys. All right, bye.